What's up guys, Fightech back with another video and today I'm going to be doing the review of the Nexus 7. Yep, that's right. The Nexus 7, finally the long awaited review. And uh, so I actually wanted to do an uh, is it still worth it video, but uh, I guess the review in this case will do the job. So let's get started. First off, we have design. Well, first of all, the Nexus 7 looks spectacular. And it's really thin, like, you can really tell it's super thin, like, right there. It's really thin, and, um, but because of that, I can actually see an issue with the <clears throat> tablet, sorry for that. And, uh, that is, because of the uh, thinness, as you can tell, uh, just a sec. As you, as you can tell, the thinness there actually makes a bit of an issue for picking it up when it's face down on a table. Because, like, when you go to pick it up, it's a bit hard, not exactly hard in my case right now. But, uh, if it's on some kind of surface, like on the ground, especially on the ground, then that can actually make some issue, because it's really hard to pick it up. But in this case, not really been that big of an issue. That's pretty cool. And, uh, talking about the weight now, it weighs about 290 grams. And, uh, I guess that's pretty light for a tablet. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is really, really light. I mean... Yeah, just go to the store and experience one that you can tell. And uh, then, yeah, it feels really light. You actually have a bit of a glossy plastic band around the whole tablet on the sides. For example, like, if you zoom in there, let me just focus. Oh, come on. Like, right there, as you can see, this piece of gloss right there. I'm actually going to turn on the display to make it a bit clearer. Like, there you go, that little side panel going around the tablet completely, there you go. That's a beautiful, glossy plastic band all around the tablet. Then, again, you actually have it is a glossy plastic band, as I said. And, I mean, the plastic band actually feels really nice when you have the tablet in your hand, like... And again, the thinness, the rounded, the rounded size of the tablet really give you the pleasure of having a really nice feeling tablet in your hand. And I mean, really speaking, it really feels really good. It actually feels really good. I mean, and it's easily able to fit in one hand. And if you try, you're even able to use it like in one hand. So like, go ahead and uh... so yeah, it's pretty usable. So if you try to use it, it's actually pretty usable. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and reduce the brightness there. But yeah, it's definitely usable. So that, and uh, you have really thin bezels. The thin bezels, as you can tell, I mean, like, there you go. Okay, whoa, well, whoa, well, okay. Uh, the thin bezels. Let me just turn up the brightness for this one. There you go. As you can tell, you've got... Super thin bezels on every side, the right side, for example. So, thin bezels. Sorry for the gaps. This stupid donkey is really trying to stop this video, but I don't care. That's your thin bezels. And let's talk a bit about the back. Let's talk about the back a bit. And uh, for the back, again, as I showed you, it's a really nice feeling, soft touch material on the back and uh, it just it's great it's great it feels really nice in the hand so it gives you a really premium feeling experience but if you happen to be someone who usually is oily things and uh, you know for example if you use this like your entertainment center I mean entertainment on the go entertainment but you tend to eat a lot of oily things the back really does not look nice it kinda looks a bit weird so I recommend if you eat a lot of oily stuff, I don't get I uh, put on a back case at least because that looks really bad. So the second thing is uh, overall the great design of this tablet. I mean the aesthetics of it. I mean the dimensions and everything else really makes it awesome. It feels really premium and the thin bezels on the front, the back, all of it really make it look really make it both look look good and feel good in the hand and again one-handed usage really makes the BAM here well, next off we have performance 
The Nexus 7 rocks a 1.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro system on chip, bundled with 2 GB of RAM for all your multitasking needs. So, looking at that... Oh, by the way, on the storage side, you're getting either 16 GB or 32 GB of internal storage. Note that this thing does not come with a micro SD slot. So, in this case, I'd really recommend going with a 32 GB internal storage um, module. So, okay, so let's move on. So, the performance on the Nexus 7 is really smooth. As you can tell, that is no, no issue. And if you're, if you're gonna be like really just doing daily stuff like web browsing, browsing YouTube, there's gonna be really no lag. As you can see, the YouTube app loaded up real quick and I'm able to go through the whole interface without any lag. Like, it's super smooth. So, no issues with Google, YouTube. And even if you go ahead, like, go ahead, going ahead and browsing social network, no issues, nothing. I mean, you won't be able to make it lag with that. And uh, if you want to do some light gaming on it, sure, go ahead. I won't stop you. No issues either. So it makes up great for that. But if after looking at the specs of it, you're thinking that this will actually make up as a good budget gaming Android tablet, eh, not really. Because uh, it's a really old tablet, first of all. It's a three-year-old now. And uh, when it was released, it was actually able to do some good hardcore gaming. But back then and now, it's really different. So the graphics, it won't be able to do it anymore. The Nexus 7 might have been able to kick some ass back in the day, but not anymore because of some seriously high graphics demanding games. But if you're really not too much in heavy gaming and just need something for some Netflix and entertainment, then this is probably the best budget tablet right now for you. Finally, we come to the OS, or in this case, and this tablet, well, if we're getting it brand new, comes with 4.3 Jelly Bean out of the box. But as of now, it's easily upgradable to Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. As you can tell already, it says right there, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. And that's a legit official Marshmallow update, so don't worry about that. Again, software, not an issue. Thanks to the latest Android OS, in this case, which is Marshmallow, you're actually going to be able to download all the latest apps from the Play Store. And it'll all be supported. For example, like, it's all pure vanilla Android. Smooth performance, like completely super smooth. Thanks, it's mostly because of the software optimizations as well. And since this is obviously the version of the Android is above Android Lollipop, which is version 5.0, you're going to be easily able to use apps like AZ Screen Recorder or pretty much any screen recorder without root. Yes, I said without root. At times I did notice a weird bug. At times when I usually go to play games like Temple Run 2 or play any video or movie. With MX Player, the tablet starts to have this weird problem. Once I go to the home screen, go back, once I'm done with the gaming or MX Player, I actually see this weird frame drop constantly going on. Like, I mean, it really looks sluggish until I reboot the tablet and it's gone. And I'm pretty convinced that this is a software issue because when I installed ROMs like Cyanogen Mod 13 on this, I didn't get this issue no matter how many times I ran the maps and quit them. But again, on software side, it's actually a pretty great, pure, vanilla Android experience. If y'all were really waiting for the display part of this monster, well here it is. Let's go ahead and check out the display. So speaking of the display, the display on this tablet is really good. It's a 7-inch 1920 by 1200 pixel display, which allows it to get a crazy crispy 323 pixels per inch. And then again, this display is really nothing special if you look at the specs, as it is, looks like a normal LED backlit IPS LCD display. But if you ever really get a chance to look at this beauty, I guarantee you that this display will freaking wow you a thousand times. I mean, so let me just tell you, I mean, the colors on this display are crazy vivid, and the viewing angles are obviously great because this being an IPS display, and, uh... I actually played some one and uh, I mean, I mean it will why you. I'm telling you that. And how do I know that? Because the first time I actually ever glanced on this tablet when I was actually playing some Candy Candy Crush, and uh, I mean looking at the colors, I was just blown away. They were so beautiful and so vivid. I mean they were just like popping out of the display. The candies. I was blown away, literally. 
But then again, overall, I, I would say that this is a great display with colors to die for. I mean, if you look at it really from close, and seriously, if you don't have this tablet, just go ahead to the store and play with it, please. I'll, I, I'm telling you, it'll really look nice. So now, let's talk about the camera. The rear camera you get on this tablet is actually pretty typical. It's a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus, and let's just say, I mean, once you get this tablet, you really don't just want to tap that icon because, I mean, it's a lot of darkness in there. It's really not the best thing in the world. But, I mean, if you want to take a few snaps in outdoor lighting and just want to focus and take a few flower shots if there are any around you, then, yeah, it should go good look. Look, look good. And, uh, yes, the video you're watching now, this part right now that's being recorded now, is actually being recorded with the Nexus in 1080p full resolution. And let me just tell you, the video comes out at 1080p, but the colors, I mean, like, if you compare them, like, looking in real life and looking through the camera of the display, they look really washed out. And it's not the display's fault, it's mostly the camera's fault. I mean, I've always recorded my videos with this tablet's camera since I really don't have any other choice. But, I mean, I've always seen this, that the colors really wash out. And the other worst thing with the... F uh, but again, I mean, okay, let me just tell you. That the built-in camera app, which is Google Camera, is awesome. But when actually you're like recording video, unfortunately, you don't really have any tap to focus in between recording. If you tap while you're recording, it'll only take a snap. So focus is completely up to the camera. No manual focus. And that's pretty much it for the back camera. Moving to the front camera of the Nexus 7, that this footage right here is actually being recorded with the Nexus 7 right now. Uh, you get video at uh, 720p, and let me tell you, the front camera is actually, I guess, a bit usable. And as you can see, like, if I move to different exposures, I mean, it's pretty good, but uh, when I like go here, I mean, my face really goes dark. It just underexposes you. But if you're opposite of the light angle, then it looks great. So, then, again, uh, it's great, I mean, the front camera, I mean, for a few Google Hangout sessions and a few selfies if you want to take some, it's definitely going to be good enough, comes up to that, definitely you can go ahead and take them, but again, it's not the best, so please don't just, like, take selfies with this and go ahead and brag to your friends that, dude, I just took an awesome looking selfie, because it's really not that they might just probably have better front cameras with, and uh, have better selfies than your ones. And the video, again, as I said, comes out at 720p, but, I mean, the frame rates are a tiny bit low. But again, selfies and uh, a few Google Hangout sessions, not a problem. That's just great, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything for the camera, I can say, at least. Yeah. Coming to the overall conclusion for this tablet, I'd say it's definitely worth it in 2016, even if it's a really old 2013 tablet. But just try to avoid using at least the rear camera and just don't do way too much heavy aiming on this. First of all, it does heat up a bit and um, again, secondly, it's really not the best so the graphics are a bit out of date so you will not get the best frame rates. And later on, you might just end up smashing your tablet for not giving you the best frame rates while gaming. So I'd say, don't game. And uh, that's it for this video. So if you have any questions about this tablet, be sure to put them down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them. And again, feel free to like the video if you liked it. And dislike it if you disliked it. The choice is completely yours. I'm not going to tell you anything. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe. For, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. And uh, one more thing I want to say is that I said that the gaming on this thing is not really the best. And uh, this will just probably, like, who knows, you might just end up smashing your tablet because it's not getting good frame rates on it. But if you still, you guys just want a gaming review, I'll be sure to, I'll try to, I mean, okay, I'll post a gaming review for this soon. And, uh, it's a bit hard because, I mean, the Nexus is my primary filming camera for my YouTube channel, so it's a bit hard to record with my mom's phone, which I borrowed for this video as well. 
right now the recording, the series, what you're seeing right now is actually through the front camera of the Nexus, but a few parts, most of the parts, main parts were through the Note 3. So, a bit hard for me, but I will try and manage. And this is actually, by the way, the first video that I've recorded, like, with multi-camera. I mean, like, for example, I'm switching between this phone and that device, just like I did. And again, effects will be there. So, yeah, some hard editing there. Exporting usually takes a long time. That's why it's a bit hard for me to upload videos. And secondly, my crappy internet connection. Not really getting the best speeds, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And, uh... Stay tuned for more videos like the gaming review. I'll try to do that. Probably I'll do that. I'm trying to. Oh, by the way, my exams are over. So I'm trying to give as much time as possible to you guys. So stay tuned for more videos. The gaming is going to be coming soon. And uh, thanks for watching, as usual. And peace.